if I speak in human languages or even in those of angels, but do not have love, then I've become a clanging gong or else a clashing cymbal. And if I should have prophetic gifts and known all mysteries, all knowledge to have faith to move the mountains, but have no love, I am nothing if I give all my possessions to the poor and for pride's sake, my very body, but do not have love, it's useless to me. Love's great-hearted love is kind, knows no jealousy, makes no fuss, is not puffed up, no shameless ways, doesn't force its rightful claim, doesn't rage or bear a grudge, doesn't cheer at others' harm, rejoices rather in the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things. Love hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails, but prophecies will be abolished. Tongues will stop and knowledge too be done away. We know, you see, in part, we prophesy in part, but with perfection, the partial is abolished. As a child I spoke, and though thought and reasoned like a child, when I grew up I threw off childish ways. For at the, the moment all that we can see are puzzling reflections in a mirror. Then face to face, I know in part for now, but then I'll know completely, through and through, even as I'm completely known. So now, faith, hope, and love remain these three, and of them, love is the greatest. I don't know who needed to hear that this morning, but I think some of y'all did. So, have you... Have you got your, your masks ready for when you do need to go out? Are you uh, well stocked and, and ready for, you know, possibly the second half of this thing? All in all these things, remember love it is the command of Christ as we celebrate on this Monday, Thursday. And it is also, it is also the center of what will get us through all of this. So our, our council uh, met last night via Zoom. Uh, it was more of a check-in than anything else. Um, you know, at one point we were thinking that we might be able to decide that we could uh, open back up for Easter or something kind of silly like that, uh, you know, at the time. Who knew? Um, so we're, we're going with the original plan of the eight weeks that the CDC initially recommended. Uh, that said, we are the council is going to meet again on May 6th just to see where we're at, because at the end of the day, we're not in charge of the tempo and, and time of all these things, which we, we never all are, but it becomes very apparent in times such as this. So we're listening to what the governor has to say. We're listening to what our mayor has to say. We're being safe here at St. Stephen, and I hope and I pray all of you are as well. Now, uh, another thing I did bring up, I will be taking the week after Easter off, which I originally had intended to, but with the pandemic, uh, my plans had changed. I'd intended to go get my, my every two year heart checkup, and uh, now that's not happening because you can't fly there, and uh, Mayo is not accepting patients uh, right now. So, um, you know, timetables change, but uh, with a little prompting, I, I was reminded that it's probably a good idea to take um, take the week off anyway, because, uh, you know, Holy Week during a pandemic can be a little stressful. Um, so after my vacation, uh, we're going to be starting up Zoom Bible studies as well. Uh, one of the interesting things was our TABS Bible study, our Thursday afternoon Bible study, was going to be studying suffering when we got back. Uh, so seems appropriate to continue that in another forum, and I think we'll also try to keep doing the Bible Study 102 Bible Studies. For that matter, we can probably do some version of pub theology in our homes. So, so look forward to that uh, after, uh, after the, the week after Easter. We'll kind of get those all 
up and running and figuring out good times to do Zoom Bible studies when a lot of people can show up and enjoy and enjoy fellowship and also be edified with um, with scripture and holy imagination. So that's uh, kind of looking out a little ways, but then reining it back in a bit. Uh, we have uh, Holy Week. Today is Monday, Thursday. We're celebrating the command of Christ to love one another. So both today and tomorrow at 7.30 p.m., you will be able to find um, worship of various sorts, both uh, music and, and liturgy. Up first, we'll start with the Facebook page. Then I'll be putting it on the website as soon as I can. In fact, uh, because you're probably watching this from the website, if you just look up, you'll notice there is a tab that says Worship Videos at St. Stephen. So just click that uh, and check on that a few times, and eventually the Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday stuff will come up. And I'll give you a little secret. I've already put up the Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday services on YouTube, so if you're really hankering to get your worship on, you can do that um, as we speak. Uh, so yeah, there's both of those are up already. Uh, in fact, there's two different Good Friday uh, services already up, uh, one where the pastor is invisible, one where you can see me. Um, so at any rate, uh, 7.30, uh, look for... Uh, worship of various sorts, first on Facebook, then on the website, and then I will be emailing you t this tonight as well. Then, on Easter, we're going to, uh, again, release things the same way, Facebook, website, email, and at 10.30, we should be getting some um, musical um, file of some sort that you all will be able to listen to. Then, at 11 o'clock, I will be live streaming the Easter service, um, followed by, of course, putting it on the website and emailing it to you all. So, you should be able to access um, worship um, remotely in one way or another. So now, faith, hope, and love remain these three, and of them, love is the greatest. Amen, and God bless, friends.